much uh, and good evening. We, when we were in government in the Maldives, we wanted to become carbon neutral. We wanted to make the Maldives a carbon neutral country. This was not because we felt that we could save the world or because the Maldives was emitting so much carbon. But we felt that we could gain a moral high ground and tell others that if it is possible for us to do it here, why can't everyone else not do it? Um, then our government got toppled in a coup as they happened in the Maldives. Um, and now I have just suddenly seen a man who is doing, who is trying to do exactly the same thing. They have done, we did a carbon audit in the Maldives, and then we did, I, I think, 270 little projects. When completed, that would make the Maldives carbon neutral in 2020. <laughs> um, then we costed these projects, and we found how it can be implemented. So I believe that this is very, very possible. We need to build, I'll just give a little idea on what I'm talking about. We need to build a biosphere, an ecosystem, instead of a housing estate. We need to see a house, not just as a shelter, but as a production unit. That would produce its own energy, and also its own food, and it's all other materials as well. So if you take a town like Froome, which is 20,000 people, when this town becomes this biosphere or the ecosystem, it must have a housing program, a water system, a sewage system, roads and so on, all connected and all driven by the production units, which are houses. Um, and, and I think that this can be simply done through a procurement order, what I would call a procurement order. The town council has a piece of land and it wants to find a builder or someone to use that land. So they must ask, they must ask for a contractor to come and build this. So they will build a procurement order which, is, which would then produce these housing units and therefore that carbon neutral town. So I'm very glad to be here. I was a bit told not to take too much time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to be here because uh, Froome has started working on this. And I like to work for you. I think there are people interested in building these ecosystems. We can attract investors. Uh, I know a number of people, Sir Richard Branson, Ratan Tata. All of these people have pledged, they will make money out of it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> they will make money out of it, and they will make it financially viable. And, and I think these things have to be financially viable. So the, the, you have resources, which is your land and whatever resource that you have. The town council can give that as a concession uh, that would attract your investments. Uh, and, and I like you as a town to decide uh, on becoming carbon neutral and then working out how it, your town can become carbon neutral. It will become the first biosphere, the first ecosystem that would drive its own energy, drive its own life. And you will be imagining yourself, uh, not just simply humans, but also as animals living in this biosphere. So your lives also will be connected to the biosphere. You will have the good life, you must. Because you will have your own vineyard, you will have your own discos and everything else in a town. But all of these little things must be connected and it would produce you the biosphere, the ecosystem that you want. So I would like the University, the Bath University or Bristol uh, uh, to write this procurement order. 
and I would like your town to tender it. And I would like someone, Richard Branson or Ratna Tata or someone, to buy it and to produce it. And I think it's very simple and I think it's doable. I think that will save the world and that will save the Maldives as much as it will save yourself. Uh, and we hope to therefore then advertise this, advocate this, um, and have the Froome as the first biosphere in the world, and, and therefore everyone else following that. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Fantastic.